So after I got the four um, eye hooks in place, uh, the next thing I want to do is actually just get the wheels into the vehicle, right? Uh, so before we even do that, uh, just quickly recall which side is the back wheels or where the back wheels are going to be at, wherever the mouse is looking. So we're going to use these larger wheels here as our back wheels. Okay, so um, these will simply just go in like so. Just close them in. There we go, here's the back wheels. So far it kind of looks cool from an angle. <laughs> uh, we'll get the clear transparent wheels up now. Oops. Make sure to push these in as much as possible. And you'll know why. Um, now, you're at a point where your car or your mousetrap car is looking like one now. And uh, you might be carried away and just start celebrating for joy. So far you've gotten through the easiest part of the actual mousetrap car. Now here's some problems you'll start noticing is that the wheels tend to shake around a lot. They can go back and forth, left and right for both. And for now it seems fine to leave it alone and your car will wor work just fine. The only problem is you'll notice later that your car will start to go left and right when it's going. It'll, it'll essentially just end up moving left or right. And unless you want that to happen, that's great. But uh, for the most part, you usually want your car to go straight. Now the next part um, that I wanted to jump into uh, involves another component I didn't talk about earlier. And that's actually going to be the lever, the extended lever. Uh, now that I think about it, I'd rather call this the actual lever, but we're going to extend it. And you'll know the reason why I'm doing that in a bit. So a lever to extend this is, what we want to do is use some sort of stick here. And I have a bamboo skewer here, uh, which I'm going to snap off to, ex to attach onto this. Uh, to work as an extension for the mousetrap car's lever. This, by doing this, you'll actually increase the distance that the mousetrap car will go. If you just use the uh, lever of this this lever here, you'll find that you'll have some problems, uh, especially because the mousetrap car will have too much force on the rear wheels, and it might not work, uh, or you might find your car not moving very far at all. So that could be a challenge. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to break this off at a predetermined length or so. Uh, so. Here we go, I've broken that off. A good length is uh, about a little bit more like two, two, two and a half uh, times longer than the actual original lever length. That's probably a good height to go with, or length. Now the next step is something that you have a lot of freedom to choose over and that involves figuring out how you actually want to attach this onto this rod here. Now the solution I came up with and I've tried different things before but this just happens to be the cleanest one. Uh, you'll see some people use a uh, hot glue gun, uh, some type of glue thing, glue material to wrap it onto this rod here and it's important that this, pe this stick here uh, actually stays sturdy and strong on this rod. So what I decided to do was use zip ties. Okay, and, and zip ties are pretty cheap. If you don't know how they look like, uh, you can get them in a whole bag set. I got these for a dollar at a dollar store. And you can definitely find those for cheap as well. And you can find different colors if you'd like to. These are just clear and, and transparent. So to do this, what I want to do is First, just put the zip tie in already, like so, and and just sort of tying it down. The 
Let's see if I can actually zoom in on that, give you guys a better view. Alright, like that, and we're going to use one more. You could probably use three um, for this particular component, um, but in this case I'm just going to use two. What you can do now is just keep continually closing it in just a bit more. And then once you think the actual zip ties um, are kind of tied in already, place the barbecue skewer piece that you broke off into place. Okay, what you want to do is make sure you tie off the bottom, bottom portion here. didn't go too well. Alright, let's see how about the top side. Make sure that the zip ties are tied in as well as you can make them. Okay, now we got them in place. You'll see that uh, you know, the rod, the extended lever seems to stay in place. Try to tie in these a bit more. Be very careful not to damage your vehicle. Now there's extra zip tie that uh, extends out of here and you want to cut, cut that off if possible. Alright, now we got the zip ties on and we got the lever in place. Great. Now, uh, the next thing we want to do is actually prep our vehicle's wheels. Um, right now, you'll notice that the wheels are running on the same uh, on the the original wheels that we picked up from the store. What we need is traction. If you don't have any form of traction on your wheels, it'll actually make it difficult for your car to move on the ground or on a smooth surface. So, uh, what you want to do is get some rubber bands on your wheel okay and you can get rubber bands almost anywhere again these were some that I've got off at a 99 cent store and um, however I do recommend that you get really good kind of rubber bands um, maybe avoid getting them at a 99 cent store. I find that the quality that you get from a 99 cent store tend to degrade over time. So, and secondly, they're not all the same size. Obviously, if you get kind of bored just watching me do this, you can definitely skip ahead in the video. I know it's kind of lengthy, but uh, I just wanted to make sure everyone uh, had all the information and that they saw me build this from the beginning to end. So, I'm definitely aware of the time. Okay, I think I got the back wheels on. That looks pretty cool, right? The yellow color. All right, I'm gonna get the front ones now. For these front wheels, uh, since I don't have a lot of these rubber bands, I'm just gonna put it right dead center, okay, for this one. Now, just a quick talk about the lever. You'll notice that the lever isn't very long. Now, if you're building a long distance vehicle, a long distance mousetrap car, you'll want a much longer lever. Uh, 
because the longer lever will give you more distance. However, f for this particular mousetrap car, which I was intending to build for an incline, meaning it was, gonna, it was going to go up and go up a hill, uh, this model doesn't really require a very long uh, extended lever. If you make a very long extended lever, you're actually going to have problems with power. So that's something you want to think about. So right now I'm going to just take a quick pause and we will jump to the next section.